So I came across Doug Hoffman, who's the executive director of Normie. And we were wondering, what can we talk about today? And something that hasn't really been talked about much in our industry is, should you evacuate? You know, hurricanes are coming, things are happening. When should people leave? And should restorers even attempt to go into those areas to work? What do you think, Doug? You got something to say on that? I do. <laughs> I think it's a great question because sometimes you just react without thinking about what's going on, whether you're trying to actually go down there to do work uh, or if you're actually living there. So, so we decided not to evacuate with Ida. We stayed there and then we left the next day. And of course we left because we now have no power, no internet, no phone service. And you know, you can't run a business when you, you don't have those kinds of things. So I think uh, the decision to leave sometimes just is a personal thing, depending on what, how, how you want to protect your property, uh, how, you, how comfortable you feel with the, the uh, integrity of the property that you're living in and those sorts of things. So that's kind of a personal decision. I think in regards to the res restoration contractors, what's interesting to me is that sometimes the best thing to do is to not immediately go try to fix things because you forget that they don't have any, any uh, resources. Maybe they don't have any power, maybe they don't have any water, and you don't want to go down there and be a drain on that. So sometimes it needs to, you need to stop and think, do I really want to go down there right now? Maybe I should wait a couple of weeks uh, or take my own stuff with me so I'm not a burden on an already burdened environment. Absolutely, now let me ask this. In your experience, should a contractor have things set well in advance before they go down there? Should they have ground support in those areas? Yes, absolutely. And I think that's one of the things that we found, Jeff, is that a lot of guys that go there, they, they have their own um, motorhome or trailer or whatever so that they can take stuff with them that they need so they're not a burden. Because sometimes it's hard to find stuff. And so if they have all their stuff and they're, they're staging ahead of time in preparation for it, then it makes sense to go down there. And, but oftentimes they just forget that how bad it really is. Yeah. So they could find themselves in a situation where they went to help, the opportunity is there to do the work, but they just can't do it. Exactly, exactly. And for a lot of reasons. And then you've also got the problem of dealing with, with the people themselves that are frankly kind of in a trauma situation. They don't even want to make decisions yet. I know when we, the last flood we had in Baton Rouge, a lot of people took three or four days to even decide whether they wanted to do anything because they didn't know, that, are they going to get an insurance uh, carrier to come out and adjust things? How do they do that? And they're just kind of in an emotional panic.